Trying to raise money online, but barely getting any donations. Here's the thing most people don't realize. It's not your cause that's the problem. It's your donation experience. If it's clunky, confusing, or looks outdated, people won't be convinced. But with the right setup, you can turn a boring donation page into something that actually works. And that's why I'm excited to show you the new and improved Charitable Pro. And look, I already know what you might be thinking. I'm not technical. I've tried donation plugins, payments, dashboards, receipts. That sounds overwhelming. I get it, you're not alone. Most donation plugins feel like they were made for developers, not regular people trying to raise money. But that's what makes Charitable Pro different. It's made for people who just want things to work, by people who actually care and listen. There's no super technical process or coding. Just set it up and go. Okay, so it really couldn't be any easier to get started with Charitable. You've got two options really. You can go through your WordPress dashboard and into the plugins repository and search for the light version of Charitable and install that on your site. And then you can test out some of the features and see how that works. Or if you're interested in the features that I'm gonna show you in this video, you can get started with Charitable Pro by coming to the Charitable website, that is wpcharitable.com, then heading to the pricing page here and then take a look at all the different pricing options that you can choose from and look at the one that suits you best. Then click the get started button, pay for a plan. And then once you log into your account, you can download the Charitable Pro plugin from there. And you'll also get your license key for that plugin. Once you've got that, then head to your WordPress site and log into your dashboard. Then once you've logged into your WordPress dashboard, basically just head to plugins, click on add plugin and then click on upload plugin. You'll then be able to upload the plugin you've just downloaded to your computer. And once you've uploaded that, you can activate the plugin and then that will take you through a very quick setup wizard to make it super easy for you to get set up with Charitable Pro. And part of that setup wizard will ask for your license key. And once all that's done, you'll then land on this dashboard right here. And obviously I've got some information on this dashboard but this is the kind of thing that you're gonna see on your site. And I have to say, this is a very, very good looking dashboard for a donation plugin. It's very easy to use, it's very easy to navigate. And I just wanna highlight that in this video, I'm gonna be focusing on some Charitable Pro features that have just been released with the new version of Charitable Pro. If you're interested in us creating a video about setting up a campaign and things like that, let us know in the comments below and we'll put a video together for that. All right, now we've done that, Let's look at managing your donors. With Charitable Pro, you get a full donor management system built right into WordPress. No separate tool, no extra add-on. You can see every donor. It's like having a mini CRM baked into your site. Super handy if you wanna build real relationships with your supporters. Okay, so we're on my demo site. I'm gonna check out the donor management system for Charitable. So to do that, all we need to do is come down here up below charitable right here and click on the donors option. And then that's gonna open up the donors screen and you can see that right here. And the cool thing about this screen is that you can see everything about your donors in one place. So as you can see, all the donors are in a list on this screen here. At the top, if you select individual donors, you'll then be able to use some bulk actions and apply them to those donors. You can also filter the list as well by clicking on filter and you can filter by date, campaign, search terms, or if you favorite some donors, you can also filter by your favorite donors as well, which is really cool. And then you can also export donor information from this screen as well. If we look at individually, the information you can see on each donor, you get the name of the donor, email address, the donations in total. So that's the total donations they've made on this site. The number of donations they've made, the donor type, the date they joined, and also your top donors will be tagged with a little crown as well, which is really cool. So you can see them in the list as well. But that's not all. If you look at the actions column right here, we get some options for each donor. So we can edit the donor's profile. We can send them an email. We can delete their record from the site, or if you've got the annual receipt add-on, you can also click on this 
and download the annual receipt for that donor as well, which is really handy. Okay, so let's go a level deeper and look at what editing a donor profile looks like. I'm just gonna click on the edit profile for this one. Okay, so we're now on this screen and we can see we've got the information about who the donor is, their email address, their lifetime donations. Also, it signals that they're a top donor as well with a little crown there and the amount of donations they've made in this year to date. Over here on the left, we've got some of the options we saw in the previous screen. We can delete the record, we can favorite this donor, we can send them an email and we can download their annual receipt as well. If you want to link them to a user on the site, you can click on this and this is where you can associate this donor with a user profile on your WordPress site. Scroll down a little bit. Under the profile settings, you get everything that you would expect to be able to edit a donor. So you can edit their name, their title, their company, their phone number, add their birthday, their primary language. And if they've consented to be contacted by email, you can check the box there as well. You can also add some tags to donors as well. So if you wanna do that, that's an option you can do. And a really cool addition here is the add custom field button right here, which means you can add custom fields to your donor profiles. So if you collect specific information on donors and you don't see the fields in the profile, you can add these by yourself which is really, really handy. We scroll down, you can add the donor's address, you can add the donor's emails. You can, if you click the add email button, you can add multiple email addresses for this donor as well. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the screen, this section right here is where we can manage all of the actions and activity that this donor has been taking on the site. So as you can see, we're currently under the single donations tab. So here we'll be able to see all of the donations this donor has placed on the site. And if this donor has done reoccurring donations as well, we'll be able to see them under this tab right here. We can also see under the campaigns tab, all the different campaigns this donor has donated to as well. And if we click on the comments tab, we'd be able to see all the comments they've made. And if we click on the social tab, if this donor has linked any social accounts, we'd be able to see them here as well. A really cool addition here is the notes section. So if you have any information that you wanna save on this user, like something about their billing, or if they wanna be contacted in a specific way, you can add them to the admin notes section here. And of course, these notes are only visible to administrators. If I just head back to single donations, a really cool thing here as well is if we look at the actions column for donations, we can actually edit donations from this screen. So we don't have to go into the donations section and try and find donations there. If we're looking to edit a donation for a specific donor, we can come into their profile and we can find it right here. We can also click on the download PDF receipt for any of the donations this donor has made. So if you need to download a receipt for whatever reason for a specific donation, you can do that from this screen. And of course, you can also download all the donation history for this donor in a CSV file by clicking the download CSV button right here. Now let's talk about your donor side of things. Charitable Pro gives every donor their own personal dashboard. Okay, so now we're on the donor dashboard and this is what donors can see on the front end of your site. This is how they can access and edit their information easily. I'm just gonna scroll down a bit. So straight away, donors can see their name, their email address, the date they joined. And then they have this overview section here where they can see the lifetime donations they've made to the site, the average donation value, the amount of campaigns they've donated to, and their last donation amount with the date that they donated on. Below that, they've got a few tabs that they can navigate between. They've got a profile tab, which is where they can edit all of the information about them, so their name, the company, title, they can add their phone number if they want or their birth date, select their primary language. And then below that as well, they can edit the primary email address for them and also add a picture of themselves if they want to do that. 
and the next tab along, they can view all the donations that they've made on the site. So this can be the one-time donations. They'll see them all in the list below here, and they'll see things like the amount they donated, the date they donated, campaign they were donating to, and the status of that donation as well. And the same would be for any of their reoccurring donations if they've made them on the site as well. Under campaigns, they'll be able to see the campaign that they donated to and how well that campaign's actually doing and whether it's still active as well. The comments tab will show them any comments they've made on the site and the settings allows them to update their email consent as well. So if they consent to be in contact by email, they can check this box and save the changes and that will be updated. Professional receipts matter, especially when someone's giving money. Charitable Pro has made it even easier to generate branded PDF receipts and annual reports if your plan includes them. You can add your logo, change the headers, control what info shows. It all looks clean and official. Donors can grab their receipts anytime from their dashboard. Have you ever lost a donation because the payment page was confusing? Well, yeah, that happens way too often. With Charitable Pro, you can use Stripe Checkout. So your donors get a fast, mobile-friendly, secure payment page with everything in one spot. Credit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, bank transfers, it's all there. And the best part? It's more trustworthy for donors. They feel secure giving, which means more donations actually go through. And a few more things to highlight, Charitable Pro lets you embed videos from YouTube, TikTok, Vimeo, and more. Drop in your story, your mission, your results. Video builds trust way faster than text. You can also show your campaign's impact with interactive maps. Just plug in a Google Maps API key and show where donations are going. It's a fantastic way to help donors visualize their impact. Finally, you can post campaign updates too, like little blog posts right on your donation page. Great for keeping donors in the loop and emotionally invested. So let's recap, built-in donor management, personal dashboards for supporters, one-click receipts and reports, clean, secure payments, built-in video, updates, maps, all inside WordPress. No code needed. So if you want a donation site that actually converts, Charitable Pro gives you everything you need. And the link for Charitable Pro is in the description below this video. And if you've got any questions, drop a comment below as well. We read all the comments and try to reply to as many as possible. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.